Hi, Osprey students. Mm -hmm. How are you guys this week? This is gonna be our last art video of the school year. Can you believe it? We made it through distance learning. You guys have this week and next week to finish your schoolwork, and then you'll be out for the summer. But that makes me a little bit sad because I already miss seeing you guys so much and we're gonna have to wait the whole summer to see you. But we can't wait for you to come back to school. Kelly will be going into the second grade and guess what guys? May 2nd's my birthday. Yep, she's having a birthday in, is that four days? Five days? Uh, it's one, it's one between four and five. Days. It's either four or five days, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, are you embarrassed? You're blushing. You never blush like that. Yeah, so this girl's turning seven. Are the rest of you guys having birthdays over the summer? Or are you having birthdays when we should have been able to celebrate it at school and we didn't get to because we had to end school early? Kelly would have celebrated in the classroom probably, but I'm going to make it a special day for her. So I hope you guys who have had birthdays have had special days too. So, okay, this art project is painting and stamping and doing all kinds of things with leaves. leaves. That's right. So we're going to use a little bit of paint. We're going to use a little bit of markers and well, we'll just show you all the materials that you need real quick. The supplies for this project are assorted leaves, different shapes and sizes, maybe some paints and paint brushes if you have some, Maybe some markers. Do you guys recognize this? This came from school. Mrs. Loki let me go get it because my markers were running dry. And then just some paper. Let's use markers to do a stamp with our leaf. So I'm going to mark on the side that is more rough that you can really feel the veins of the leaf coming, poking out. See, I call this the smooth side and then I'm calling this the rough side where those, those lines are kind of raised, okay? That's what I'm gonna do so that I can um, kind of color in between those lines. I decided to do rainbow colors on this. We talked about this a little bit in school, but when you can make a rainbow as pretty as you want, but the actual rainbow that's in the sky has an order to it, the colors, okay? It goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, okay? So I'm gonna kinda do that on my leaf and make a rainbow leaf. <laughs>
Okay, let's look at how everything turned out and talk it over real quick. This was the one that we used marker on. Here's the leaf. And I worked pretty hard to get it nice and colored in. My markers were a little bit more dry than I wanted them to be, but still, when I turned it over and pressed it down, I got this really pretty look. Now, even though the colors aren't quite as vibrant as I would have liked, the technique turned out awesome. I mean, look at the print, look at the lines in that. And that's, that's not from anything special, that's just from coloring a leaf with markers and pressing it down. So that doesn't take much artistic ability and you can make something really pretty from it. Then we tried the paint. So I painted each leaf and I thought that the leaf itself looked beautiful with those jewel tone colors. And then I turned it over and pressed it down and this is what I got. What do you guys think about how that looks? Looks like I could have been a little bit more thorough with either my painting or my pressing but all in all, I think it looks kind of neat. And then there was this one. This is actually, I think, my favorite because this is the one where the leaf was actually sitting on this paper and I brushed each piece. And then because the leaf was sitting there, we have that white spot underneath, but from just where I drug my brush out along the edges a little bit, it made sort of the um, outline of the leaf, which I thought looked really pretty. So I w went ahead and wrote my great summer note on that one. And I'll miss you guys so much, but I wish you an awesome summer and I wanna offer a special congratulations to our eighth grade graduate, Gunner. Gunner Kathy is going on to high school. So congratulations, Gunner. We will miss you a lot and have a great summer, all you Ospreys. Do, 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 do.